Hi, I'm Shannon, one of the librarians here at Naperville Public Library, and today we are going to talk about animals among us. So sites that are known for their animals, and then sanctuaries and conservancies that are taking care of uh, different types of animals around the world. So let's get started. So animals are everywhere. They live among us even as the world becomes more urban and we also seek them out by traveling to their homelands. So we'll address some famous sites known for their animals, uh, highlight some national parks where animals can be seen, and then talk about some animal sanctuaries and conservancies around the world. So first, some famous places. You can't go to Austin, Texas without seeing the Mexican free-tailed bats that congregate under the Congress Avenue Bridge. Up to 1.5 million bats call this bridge home every summer. They dine on Austin's insects, eating between 20 to 30,000 pounds of insects on each night flight. They fly south to Mexico for the winter, so the best time to see the bats is March through September. Istanbul is well known for its free-roaming feral cat population, cared for by the community at large. The 2016 documentary Kedi followed seven of these cats, mimicking a cat's eye view as they roam through the city. Turkey, a predominantly Muslim nation, honors cats as they are considered ritually clean in Islam, and the Prophet Muhammad had a fondness for cats, going so far as to cut off the sleeve of his robe when he got up for prayers so as not to disturb a cat that was napping on it. Istanbul, with a population of 15 million people, has an estimated population of 125,000 feral cats roaming the streets. At Ernest Hemingway's home in Key West, Florida, you'll see a variety of cats on the property, even sleeping in his bed. And many of them are polydactyls, so cats with thumbs or extra digits. They are so associated with Hemingway's house that polydactyl cats are sometimes referred to as Hemingway cats. Uh, this trait can happen with any breed. There is a fence around the property, which the cats could easily escape, but the fact that tour guides are constantly administering treats make them reluctant to go anywhere. And staff keep tabs on the cats who are named for famous people in the way that Hemingway himself named his cats. So you might hear one staff member say to another, have you seen Duke Ellington or come here, Rudolph Valentino? The Punalo Black Sand Beach is at the southern end of the big island of Hawaii and is a favorite spot for green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles to come ashore. And be sure to keep a respectful distance. Their immune systems don't protect them from the bacteria carried by humans, so give them 10 to 15 feet of personal space. Uh, you will still get an eye full of these beautiful creatures as well as feel the warmth of the volcanic sand, which is formed from basaltic lava breaking down into tiny fragments. The turtles don't maintain a constant core body temperature, so they warm themselves on the black sand. Churchill in Manitoba, Canada is known as the polar bear capital of the world. It's on the polar bear migration path and is at the southern end of the area where polar bears are able to live year round. The bears come ashore for three to four months when the ice in the Hudson Bay melts in July and August until it refreezes in about early November and they live off their fat reserves while not hunting. Congregation of the polar bears depends on when the ice forms, but the time to see the most polar bears tends to be between October and November. So you've heard the expression, when pigs fly, but did you know that they can swim? And you can swim with them in the eczemas in the Bahamas at Big Major K, aka Pig Beach. No one is exactly sure how the pigs got to the uninhabited island. They are not native to the island. Uh, suspicions are that they were left there by sailors to be cooked later, or they swam over from a shipwreck. And the pigs now have dedicated custodians and local volunteers caring for them so that their health is maintained. And if you visit the Bahamas, you can indeed swim with the pigs. They are friendly creatures and enjoy handouts of fruit. Big Major K can be accessed by boat, either private or chartered vessel, and tours are available. Japan has several animal islands known for their populations of feral animals. There are multiple cat islands, including Aoshima, Tashirojima, Ainoshima, and Manabeshima, though Aoshima in Ehime Prefecture in southern Japan is probably the most famous. 
It has only 15 to 20 residents and is otherwise populated by 120 plus cats. Cats were originally brought there to keep rodents away from the fishing boats and the population of cats has only grown since. Cats are fed by residents so there is no need for visitors to feed them. Tashirojima in Miyagi Prefecture has a small cat shrine called Nekojima. Neko means cat in Japanese. There are at least 10 cat shrines to be found in Miyagi Prefecture. Okunoshima is the rabbit island near Hiroshima, Japan. With no natural predators and no cats or dogs on the island, their population flourishes. Okunoshima does have a dark past. Uh, in the 1920s, it housed a factory that produced mustard gas and tear gas, and there's a museum dedicated to this history on the island. But the tourists mostly come to see bunnies, and you can stay at the resort hotel on the island and experience it all. Uh, packs of rabbit food are sold at the port, and guests are encouraged to refill water pans for the rabbits because drinking water is scarce. The famous sea lions of Pier 39 in San Francisco began congregating there after the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, and it's been their hangout ever since. They can enjoy food from the bay and are protected there from predators, so they were allowed to stay at the recommendation of the Marine Mammal Center. California sea lions are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. It is unlawful for unauthorized persons to feed, handle, or harass them. And if you can't take a trip to San Francisco, you can still watch a live sea lion cam on Pier 39's website. Closer to home, you may be familiar with Fermilab in Batavia, but did you know that a herd of American bison live on the property? Robert Wilson, the first director of the laboratory, brought a bull and four cows to the property in 1969 as a celebration of the Midwestern prairie land where the lab is established. More bison were added several years later, and they have been symbolic of Fermilab ever since. The current herd at the lab do descend from the original animals that were brought in by Robert Wilson. Genetic testing has shown that the laboratory's herd shows no signs of cattle gene mixing, i.e. regular cattle bred with the bison. So now let's talk about parks, sanctuaries, and conservation. Nara, Japan is famous for the deer that gather in Nara Park. The deer are considered sacred messengers of the gods. They were once considered so holy that harming them could end in capital punishment. Now the deer are a national treasure of Japan and tourists flock to see them. Vendors sell shika senbei, which are deer crackers, which visitors can feed to the deer. And if you bow to a deer and offer it a cracker, it will bow back. Though the deer seem quite tame, they are still wild animals and can bite, headbutt, and kick, especially in pursuit of food. So be cautious, but still enjoy this memorable spot in Japan. Emas National Park in Brazil is an UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the Brazilian Cerrado grasslands. It is home to many species of animals, including birds such as the Greater Ria, also known as an ama in Portuguese. This is the flightless bird for which the park is named. Blue and yellow macaw, hyacinth macaw, toco toucan, and other creatures including the puma, jaguar, ocelot, maned wolf, and pompous deer. There are also several giant varieties of animals to be found here, including the giant anteater, giant otter, and giant armadillo. Fans of the novel Misty of Chincoteague by Marguerite Henry will be familiar with this park. Assateague Island National Seashore is home to the wild Chincoteague ponies that are featured in this classic children's book. Located off the coasts of Maryland and Virginia, it's a protected area on a barrier island with such varied natural environments as beaches, sand dunes, salt marshes, and pine forests. In addition to the wild ponies that make the Chincoteague Wildlife Refuge home, there are also bald eagles and seabirds to be seen. Once a hunting reserve of the royal family of Rewa, Bandhavgar National Park in central India was declared a park in 1968 and became a tiger reserve in 1993. It is known for its large amount of royal Bengal tigers, deer, leopards, and a huge variety of birds. 
The rare white tiger once made its home here, but there are no known white tigers currently living in the reserve. The park's biodiversity comes from a mixture of tropical forests, trees, and grasslands. If you're in Scotland, make sure to visit Cairngorms National Park. Its Caledonian forest boasts a variety of bird species and the park is home to the only herd of reindeer to be found in the British Isles. This area, the Highlands, is also a good place to spot the famous hairy coos, long-haired Highland cattle that the area is known for. In the region of the park, they can be seen at the Rothy Marches Estate, the ruins of the Ruthven Barracks at Glen Tanner and at the Glen Levitt Distillery. From November to March each year, the monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico to enjoy the warmer weather and breed. The migrating monarchs travel in colonies of 20 million butterflies and can fly up to 120 miles a day based on weather and wind. They settle in the fir tree forest near Mexico City. The Mexican government has set up sanctuaries for the butterflies to protect their habitat. Are you interested in both cats and classical architecture? Then you need to visit the Torre Argentina Cat Sanctuary the next time you are in Rome, Italy. In 1929, the area of Torre Argentina, where Julius Caesar was killed in 44 BCE, was excavated. It was at this time that the cats moved in. And prior to the place being an official cat sanctuary, the cats were cared for by various cat ladies, gatare, including Italian film star Anna Magnani. In the 1990s, the sanctuary was created so more cats could receive better care. If you want to see some of Africa's most endangered animals, you can at Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in Kenya. It is a refuge for black rhinos, the Gravies zebra, as well as elephants, giraffes, lions, buffalo, cheetahs, packs of wild dogs, and over 400 species of birds. Lewa has one of the highest wildlife densities in Kenya, including 12% of the country's black and white rhinos and the world's single largest population of Gravy's zebra. The Kangaroo Sanctuary in Alice Springs, Australia started as the Baby Kangaroo Rescue Center in 2005, then in 2011 expanded into the current sanctuary. Here, orphaned baby kangaroos and adult kangaroos have 188 acres of refuge and people can be educated about wildlife. In 2013, a documentary called Kangaroo Dundee was made by BBC UK slash National Geographic USA, which followed the kangaroos and other animals at the sanctuary. The Thai Elephant Conservation Center in Lampang, Thailand was founded in 1993 under royal patronage and cares for 50 elephants. There are experiences for guests such as seeing the elephants bathe, as well as information to learn. For example, did you know that elephant dung can be used to make paper? There are also Mahout training programs through TECC, and the Mahout is the person who works with rides and tends to elephants. So when you plan your next animal-based vacation, don't forget about the library's collection of travel guides to help you when you get there. And thank you for watching. Hope you've learned a little something about animals and maybe someplace that you'd like to go to see them. Hope we'll see you again soon at the library and bye-bye for now.